All right, so here we got this. Uh, is it, what, what fan is this again? R and M. This is the R and M fan here. I don't know where the remote control is for it. I think the remote is so hard that it's right here. I don't know if they want to demonstrate. Can I demonstrate this? Yeah, you can demonstrate that. Okay. Here is the light. Actually, I, I better I better stand on this side because then I'll be showing the warehouse if I go stand on the other side. Medium. Here's some ceiling fan parts right here. Medium and... And then all the obviously there's a lot of desk fan parts. Wow. Wobbles! It's wobbling. Okay, so that's a stand fan. Hey, Dan, this fan's wobbling. Okay. It's not hurting anybody. Well, I'll just turn it on to high. Okay. See what difference it makes on high. Yeah. Blows a lot of air, though. Yeah. It's a very powerful fan. But it wobbles less on high, though. Now it's Robbins and Myers. I don't know what the model name is, but it's from the 1940s. It was the first fan with a. Uh, there we go. Pre. It's a preheat fluorescent. Has three pull chains. I thought that was Canadian, only for Canadian fans, from what Pete Duffy was telling me. But then, but then, anyways, over there in the restoration shop, we got. Of course, many of you know the can arm industrial zone. I don't know how many of you care about can arms. Antique. So yeah, it's a. Uh, I think one other guy has one. I can't remember who. His doesn't have the light. This is the, I think this is the only one out of the light. Yeah, there's a can arm there. Oh, the shave, guys. It's not. Okay, let's keep moving. It's not on, but anyways, we're gonna keep moving. You've guys seen the restoration shop, so thanks for watching.